welcome to this episode. I want to thank everyone. We appreciate your comments. You know, it's very, very encouraging to see, you know, people coming up and say it's a good work. And trust us, we'll continue giving you some practical ideas in as far as starting, running, managing, and growing your tourism business. Now, today, we want to share with you something, and it's very exciting, as usual. And we are asking, did you know that you can start tour operations with no money? You can start your tour company. You can start your travel company. You can start your safari agency with no money. And how, this is why we are here to show you how to do this. But before, we want to ask you to do groundwork. Take time to do your groundwork. It's very important. Today we are not going to walk you through steps on how to start. Things like business name, finding, registration of your, of your business name, all that stuff. No. Today we want to show you how to start your tour company with literally no money. So, and we're going to rotate around the four elements that are required for any tour operator who is in business to form what we call a tour package, right? Number one, let's look at the transportation. Transportation is very key, and we will find under transportation um, items like safari vehicle, an aircraft, a boat, you know, these are some of the ways how you can move tourists from one point to the other. Let's pick one item, the safari vehicle. You do not need a safari vehicle as part of your capital base to start a tour company. All you need is to get a reliable car supplier or car rental company where you could hire cars from. And I'll give you an example. You have a car supplier supplying you cars at probably a hundred dollars. What you need is to get clients that can buy that service from you at 150. And if you send out a car at 150 for 10 days, you're making $50 for 10 days, that is $500. And you're earning. So do you need a safari vehicle? No. Okay, the next thing is let's look at accommodation as an item or an element that is part of a tour package. Because we're looking at where do you need the capital? Why do you need the capital to start to a company? Start now. Accommodation. You don't need a hotel, no a lodge, no a resort. All you need is fine hotels. Do your groundwork. We've talked about groundwork. Do your groundwork. Find the hotels. Know which hotels that you can recommend your clients. For example, hotels have got track rate and special tour operator rate, right? Your rack rate is probably $200 and your STO, what you call special tour operator, is $150. And you sell two rooms for two nights, you have the difference, $50 times two rooms times, and that's $200, right? So you don't need money to start tour operation. So the other item we're looking at, the attractions, they are part of the tour packages, where you send guests, to national parks, to game reserves. You all know, tourists come here to see the gorillas. You don't need to own a national park. You leave Bwindi, you don't need to own Bwindi. You don't need to own anything about the attraction. Could be a monument, could be a city. No, all you need is to have to do your groundwork, get the product knowledge, and take these people to these attractions, and you put a charge on that. Guess what? You make money. And lastly, we look at experiences. What tourists do while they have visited these attractions. For example, game drives. Whenever they go to a particular park, say a wildlife park, they can do a game drive, night or day game drive. They could probably also do gorilla trekking. You all know gorilla trekking permit in Uganda is $700. In Rwanda is $1,500. Leave, those are experiences. Put a charge for them to do that experiences. But you don't need to 
a capital base probably that I need 30,000 or 50,000 US dollars to probably craft an experience. No, a city excursion, no. The city is already built and all you need is them pay and probably you take them for an experience. In other words, what do I recommend while starting your tour company? Commitment and groundwork. Do groundwork, ensure that you gather a lot of contacts so that when you get someone asking about a particular service, for example, in transportation, you quickly pick up a call and say, hi, my car supplier. I have two people going to Kidepo for five days. They need a car. How much is it? $200. Mark it up. Probably $250 per day. And you're in business. So to us here, we are tourism consultants. Walk to us anytime you feel. We'll share with you any idea at no cost. I repeat, at no cost. And we'll help you how to start, run, manage, and grow your tourism business. I thank you so much for the time and keep those comments coming through if you have anything that you would want us to discuss on this platform put it below in the comment section and we'll be delighted to have it and we'll come to you thank you so much keep following us on our social media platforms uh, we're on linkedin we're on twitter and we're on facebook thank you and i can't wait to see you in our next episode